Welcome to Anime Now. This is sorry about that. Welcome to Anime Now. This is Marco Cruz. This is the last video in the Intro to Selenium WebDriver video series. So congratulations if you made it this far. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to select submenu items. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video series where we're going to dive deeper into Selenium WebDriver. Now let's dive in. And here we are on AutomateNow.io. At the top of the screen, we have this menu bar. And what we're going to do is to hover over this menu that says Vlog. Then we see some submenus. One of them is Selenium WebDriver. And that also has a submenu called Intro to Selenium WebDriver. We're going to automate the process of going here and clicking on this Intro to Selenium WebDriver. Notice that when I click on this, it takes me to another page. You will also notice that if you click on this menu here, it takes us to another welcome page but we're not going to be clicking on this menu. We're going to simply hover over the menu and then select a submenu item. So first, we're going to need a locator for this item here. We're also going to need a locator for this submenu here. Let's go to the code. And here we have a class called navigation bar, and this is a page object. We created this in a previous video. And this class deals with anything related to the top menu bar. Notice that one of the items that we have here is called select sandbox. And what this method does is that it clicks on this menu here that says Sandbox. But the one we're going to be working on is this new one here. It's called Select Intro to Selenium WebDriver. You will notice that this method returns void. And the reason we're doing that is because this is for demonstration purposes only. For the time being, we're not going to be writing any tests against this landing page for Intro to Selenium WebDriver. If we were to write some tests for that page, we would return a handle to the Intro to Selenium WebDriver page object instead of returning void. This is what we're doing up here, where we return a handle to the sandbox page. And that is because we were writing tests against that page. I already went ahead and added the two locators that we're going to need. The first locator is the one for the vlog menu. And the second locator is the one for the submenu that says introduce Selenium WebDriver. Now it's time to work on the logic for this method here. We're going to call a method from the base page class. That method is hover over element. And this requires a by locator and we're going to pass the locator for the vlog menu. Let's take a quick look at what this method is doing. And here we see that we find the element and then we use the actions class to move to that element. Once we move to this element here, the submenu items will appear. So let's go ahead and create a web driver wait to wait for this submenu to appear. And here we're going to say web driver wait and call it wait new web driver wait. We're passing the driver and we're going to wait for two seconds. Then we're going to say wait dot until and then we use the expected conditions class. And we're going to say dot visibility of element located. And this requires a by locator. So we're going to pass the by locator for the submenu item. And then we're going to say dot click to click on that submenu item. And just to recap, we first hover over the main menu item called vlog. Then we wait for up to two seconds for the submenu item to appear. And then we click on that submenu item. Now that we have a method for selecting a submenu item, let's go ahead and create a test that we can use. And this time we're going to use the homepage test class. And here we're going to add a new method. And this one is called test select submenu. And we're simply going to call the method that we just created in the navigation bar page. We're going to say navbar dot select intro to Selenium WebDriver. And that's it. We're done writing our test. To see it in action, I'm going to place a breakpoint right here, right after we click on the submenu item, and then execute this in debug mode. And as we can see, it selected the menu item that we were looking for, intro to Selenium WebDriver. I would encourage you to try this out for yourself. One way you can do this is by going to udemy.com. This page has a categories menu item. If we put our mouse over this item here, we can see a submenu appear. When we hover over any of these items, more submenu items appear. So one way to approach this would be to first hover over this item, then hover any of these other submenu items until you finally see the item that you wish to click on. Try it out and let me know in the comment section if you run into any trouble. Once again, congratulations for making it all the way to the end in this Intro to Selenium WebDriver video series. Stay tuned for a lot more videos to come.